What up, y'all? Welcome back. There's nothing like the feeling of just pressing the join button and having that draft immediately pop off. Elder Gargaroth is sweet. Tooth and Nail is also sweet, but I worry about the number of targets. Like, you don't have any of the old school Eldrazi in here? Do you? Do you have Emrakuls and Ulamogs? I haven't seen them. You also have Through the Breach, but no, no, there's no Through the Breach either. That's weird. There's no Through the Breach, but they're putting cards like Inkeyes in here. Is it Tooth and Nail or is it Elder Gargaroth? Someone direct me. Give me, give me a direction. I love Gargaroth. I think it's so good. All right. I'm taking Gargaroth. Also, I'm going to be honest with you. The other one might table. I like Giant a lot because it actually ramps you to five. Immortal Sun is also pretty sweet and kind of hard to deal with. It shuts us off from being able to play Planeswalkers, though. And if we're green, I feel like we're going to have some. I want to take Beanstalk Giant. Oh, Tatiova or Woodfall Primus? Well, we have no reason to stray from Woodfall Primus. So I'm taking Woodfall Primus. Because I think it's one of the better cards in the queue. Being able to kill Planeswalkers, Enchantments, and Artifacts is pretty strong. It is a great early build around, but the problem is in order to build around it, you have to not take Planeswalkers. And I think that's the last thing I want to do in this cube. Did you forget? Are you not going to record it? I'd, like all I, all I got to do is be like, hey, what's up, everybody? We're doing another cube draft. There you go. There you go, Mark. Ah, I'm going to take a Cidic Slime. There was a Mystic Stink in there. Might come back. It's your boy. Lotus Cobra is fantastic here. Again, if we get a fetch land, we can play Gargaroth on, on three, actually. Wow, that's insane. <sighs> Nyx Bloom Ancient. I kind of like this. I also kind of like treasure map. Hmm. Hmm. This is a 5-5 five, five trampler. I'm taking Nyx Bloom Ancient and I'm going to try to draft like Genesis Hydras and stuff. But Den Protector seems unimpressive but fine. It's still a five mana Eternal Witness. Denny P, it'll burn your throat. That's true. Super Friends, you off tomorrow? Steel Leaf Champion and Garrick. Wow. I love Steel Leaf Champion, especially if, like, I think we're taking the Garrick. I mean, Garrick, again, is a Planeswalker, and it also ramps us from, like, four to seven. And we have these two. I think Garrick's just a stronger card, but Steel Leaf Champion is still quite the beater. Yeah, actually, I don't hate this right now. We have Gar Gar Gargaloth. Gargaroth, Acidic Slime, Woodfall Primus. Sure, that's insane. I, I hope the Arbor Elf comes back. Whisperwood? Sure. F 
fuck. <laughs> Only green drafter confirmed. Wow, that's insane. This is definitely more of a three drop here. And this is more of a nine drop, let's be honest. I'm going to take Mystic Snake out of love. Mono green buck buck. <laughs> Westvale Abbey could actually just be playable. Oh, wow. Treetop Village? Sure. Wow, Arbor Elf and Tooth and Nail came back. It's all I ever wanted. Is Ulamog good here? I have to pass a Dream Trawler. Jesus. Devoted Druid is fantastic, but I feel like it might come back. I think we take the Ulamog here. I mean, it's a great Tooth and Nail target. Yeah, I'm going to take it. It's also, I mean, we have Nyxbloom Ancient, too, so, like, quadruple mana for Ulamog is just fine. I don't have to say anything. We know. You're also a three-drop. No one's playing Den Protector on two. Come on. This guy's good. Corsair of Crew Fix it is. I bet Wolf Willow Haven comes back. <laughs> Mark, it's good to have you back, buddy. Carney T. Farseek is terrible. Hmm. Tracker is pretty good in terms of card advan card card advantage. Um, yeah, we'll just take tireless tracker. I'm gonna dem protect on the sideboard for now. I feel like we're gonna have an abundance. This is gonna be one of those drafts where we have an abundance of playables. <sighs> Virtuous gear Hulk, jeez. And Nissa. Hmm. Gain X and draw X for X is the number of lands you control. I think it's Nissa. I don't know if it's playable. Uh oh, draw it. Oh, draw it. Tree speaker. Tree speaker. I would love to wheel the bird. I was actually considering that. Devoted druid and bird would be like two of the best wheels we could I could think of. Brass monkey. Nissa seems great. Joel Real does not seem that great for our deck. Yeah, I'm taking Nissa. I like Gem Razor. Uh, it's a way to destroy things. It's also just a 4-4 for 4. Devoted Druid comes back. Birds of Paradise, one time. Bird of Paradise me. No one wants it. There's no one drafting green. Okay. You're going to be like that. Cool. Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, the Haven came back, which is still playable. Farseek. Unplayable in our deck. I'll take Incinerate. Gear Hulk. 
course you came back. Rampant growth? That's playable. Raging Rain? Sure. Too bad, so sad. I mean, we have Hinterland Harbor, Rampant Growth, Lotus Cobra, Beanstalk Giant. You know what? I'm going to take this. And see if we get, like, braiding pulls and things. Because you know what? Because I deserve it. That's why I deserve it. I like this Great Henge here. Great Henge is a fantastic engine. I bet this comes back, though, and I bet we can take Metamorph here. Yeah, we're taking Metamorph. And I'll see you on the wheel, Great Henge. Yeah, I think your Hulk's fine. I don't know if I love him, though. Like, he does have Trample, which is nice. I mean, I wouldn't play him over any of these, though. <sighs> this is what it's like to live the dream, guys. The green dream. So this is definitely a 20... 24-16 deck. You don't love them, but do you like them like them? I don't know. They're going to have to send me a note to see my answer. <laughs> oh hold on we'll do this there we go I have to I, had to I didn't check the box I had to check it plow under how to lose friends in cube drafts you smoking that green dream Dude, there's two marijuana shops, like, literally within a minute of our house. It's literally, one is called Green Dragon, and one is called Green Heart. Let's take Breeding Pool. Maybe. Could just be Goose. I think it's Breeding Pool. Breeding Pool makes the, uh, the Consecrated Sphinx Dream realer. More real. Thrag Dust. Thrag Daddy. We're doing it. We're living the dream. The green dream. Oh yeah, green dream. Hulkamania is coming to get you. Genesis Hydra with Nyx Bloom Ancient? It's more common than you think. Why doesn't this guy have trample? So this is currently my 24. Eternal Witness? That's a playable card. Did not. Kodama's Reach. That's a playable card too. I think Thrun is probably better. We can take Thrun and uh, have a decent sideboard option. Terastodon is D 
decent, especially if we have tooth and nail, which we do. Oh, this is 16 land for sure. We do have to cut two cards now. Probably gem razor. Yeah, problem command, sure. Take this guy. And, oh, Gilded Juice came back. Hilarious. Hilarious. Um, Gilded Juice might be better than like Wolf Willow Haven. I think the one mana guys are much better than the two mana guys. <sighs> yeah, there's literally no one else taking any green cards whatsoever. It's pretty wild. Guys only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. Green cards. This is 25, so we need one cut. This is a tracker, Corsair, Eternal Witness, Beanstalk, Metamorph, Oracle, Garrick, Slime, Gargaroth, Nissa, Plowander, Whisperwood. It's probably Whisperwood. Could be Terastodon, too. I'm just never super impressed with Terastodon. Plus, we already have Ulamog, Genesis, Woodfall, Nyx Bloom. The only thing this deck really needs is Primeval Titan. We're also going to play this Westvale Abbey, because... Why not? <laughs> I'm only ever thinking about green cards. Oh, God. Think of the green cards. All right, this deck looks sweet. We didn't get any fetch lands, so Lotus Cobra is never going to be able to cast Gargaroth on three. But Draga Tree Speaker might. And Arbor Elf into Lotus Cobra would. So. Oh yeah, keep this. This is a turn two beanie boy. If we can hit a channel, it's pretty good. Then we can just get to fire off an Ulamog. Just kidding. Do they, are they mulliganing here? Oh, they're just like not doing anything. Uh, Ulamog in opening hand is actually fine with Tooth and Nail because then you can play it for seven and put Ulamog in play. Rip that land. I'm working on it, Neil. I'm working on it, buddy. Give me that goose. The goose is loose, guys. Goosey get low, low, low. Sacrifice food. Beanie boy. Fertile. The most fertile of footsteps. Next time we get to Oracle. That's pretty cool. Was that turn three Oracle? Nice. Oracle, Oracle, what have you done? Come in into play, but your opponent is a mana leak. That's kind of sucks. Cool. Having a good time. Let that be a lesson, kids. You can never do too well in the modern cube. There's always someone 
Just gonna shit in your coffee. Sometimes it's the uh, the condescend guy. Forked bolt on that guy? I don't even care about that thing. Yep, counter this guy too. Fascinating. Okay, that resolved. Draw a tree speaker? Whoa. It's actually pretty good because we don't want to draw that, so. If we don't like, if we, I'm actually going to let them take it, and the reason being is we have acidic slime. So if this guy's in the graveyard, it's not great, but if it's on board, we can draw our acidic slime. Eh? This is how we ramp it. This is eight mana. So this is we can Genesis for six next turn. Or we can just cast Beanstalk. Blink of an eye. Whoa. Get out of here. They have two cards in hand. Let's just do this guy for five. We have a ton of five drops. Uh, click OK to continue. Non-land permanent, sure. Guess it's acidic slime, right? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <clears throat> Arbor Elf? What? Here comes Wrath of God? Sure. Oh, Jimulum. I can Wrath again, and then we have 12 mana for Ulmog, so. Alright, that's how you do it. That's uh, how it's done, boys and girls. Let's take Metamorph out, bring in Thrun. We saw nothing. I'm sure we're going to get Dream Trollard. <laughs> Because that's how you do. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, Whisper would be great there. He was able to keep two two creatures on the board.
to today, Junior? I don't know if that's fair or not. They might be taking a little pee break. <laughs> you know, they might be. Oh, Jimulum. Jimulum. Yeah. This is a Snapperino. You guys know old Snapperino? Riffling Cloudscape. Love it. Love it. Give me that growth. We're experiencing a lot of a lot of growth in the in the third quarter. Look at this ugly hideous thing. Um that seems mean, but it shouldn't be an elemental tree folk. I feel like it's an elemental tree folk. Hmm. That's that's problematic. It's the Beastie Boys. I think we have grown to understand this cube a lot over the past couple days. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's a it's a it's a work in progress. They're gonna oblivion ring this and then kill. The fuck, why is this card in the cube? Bounce this, draw a card, make a guy, and kill my Garrick. Sounds good. That sounds really fun. I'm having this card is actually no one's ever played against this card and had a bad time, so I'm, I'm really glad it was printed. Yep, that's a fantastic three for one. It isn't a tree folk, no, it's just an elemental. Thank you. Dalkery with the resub. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate it. Well, if I can draw one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, six drop next turn. God. Yep. I meant five drop. <laughs> what a world we live in. <laughs> oh, man. It's wild, isn't it, Steve? It's crazy. Yep, I feel like we're just dead this game because they have Teferi, and uh, it's a good time. Electrolyze, make a guy, attack for, for seven. That's also a good reason. Mm. Yep. I just assume we're going to draw forest, then concede. Condescend for one. We did not condescend for any. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine damage if they have a spell. Out of all the things that have happened today, that is the craziest. I agree with you. It is a wild world we live in. Four, five, six. We'll have seven mana next turn. So 
we can cast this guy, but then we probably die. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it just bounce whatever we play, so. And we know we're drawing Tireless Tracker, so let's not let's not bullshit ourselves. The only problem with green decks is that you know, situations like that happen and you're like, oh I can't do anything. Cause I suck. Ugh, God, these hands are so friggin' bad, dude. Okay, this is actually good. I like it. Definitely getting rid of a forest here when we have two lands, an armor elf, and a rampant growth. Rampant growth puts us to three. This guy puts us to Moldaya on three. Still got Moldaya on three. I hope there's a land on top and you feel real stupid over wasting your sun lance. Well, this card sucks. In that it doesn't do anything against this right now. <laughs> Show me that smile again. I'm gonna correct this now because if they have like burst lightning, forked lightning, some kind of lightning, if they have lightning, write song about Jimulum, please. <laughs> oh, Jimulum, Jimulum, living down by the old Fountain Town factory. That doesn't seem great. Okay. Do I actually play Nissa here? Or do I have to play, have to play, play, play Eternal Witness here to get like, something back? Or do I just let... Because like Nissa is probably the thing I want to get back. Sir Strumming God, that's Ari Laxative? I thought there were two different people. I mean, I assumed it was Ari Laxative, but I also, like, thought I saw them both in the chat at the same time. That's hilarious. I'm actually really impressed right now. I'm going to keep Eternal Witness in hand. I don't think getting back Oracle is that great. We can't do anything with the next turn anyway. And once we have Nissa down, like, we'll just have... If they counter Nissa, I don't know. Being able to Eternal Witness there seems pretty good.
them tapping out for this is pretty sweet. I also, I, I'm glad they attacked because now we can cast Nissa. Get in there. Play this guy. <laughs> okay, come on, Nissa. Don't die, Nissa. Stay on the board, Nissa. I don't want you to die because I got a Nulamog. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, God. Oh, that does it. God, Nissa's a hell of a card, dude. I mean, we still hate it, don't get me wrong. But, you know. War of the Spark, huh? Well, see you later. My matchmaking failed. I want a refund. War of the Jimmy Long. <laughs> it's true. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. It's pretty banging. What was it meant to be? The matchmaking? That's probably true. Ooh, they went to six? Dang. Sucks to suck. <laughs> no, just kidding. That's rude. Oh, I see. The Battle of the Green Decks. Okay. Okay, here we go. Course of Crew Fix, Tireless Tracker, what's it going to be? J Light Ranger? Okay. This guy's got to go in the graveyard, right? This is the same deck. Figured. Oh, really? This is when you're going to show up? You ungrateful swine. I mean, next time we can go Tree Speaker, Beanstalk Giant, and then get another trigger. Oh, does that do anything? Mm. Polugranos. Hedron Archive. Well, that's fascinating. So they have three, four, five, six, left, seven mana next turn. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. So one, two, three, four. Go to two. So what we can do is metamorph, copy this, have three, and then play Beanstalk Giant and Tree Speaker. That seems good. So 
So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, we're one minute shy of actually leveling this up, but. They have three cards in hand. We have Plowander and Gargaroth, which seems good. One, two, three. So we can play both of these. It's pretty good. Hornet Queen is good. Don't love it. Probably dead to it. No, we want to put Gargaroth, don't we? Add two. Add two. One, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't do anything. Nissa. Get a land. Play the land. <sighs> Plow under. They all have death touch, so. Still think it's Gar Gargaroth? I don't know. I feel like we're just losing to one Hornet Queen here. <laughs> like, I'm gonna keep one back because this insect. Because it's Gargaroth. I'm like, okay. Like, it's just a weird, it's a weird situation because you're like, well, I hope they don't play one card that I just can't deal with because it goes wide and kills everything. I also have yet to see Career Hoof, I think. Maybe I've seen it in the earlier drafts, but like... Sure. So one, two, sack, one, two, three, one, two. If we hit a land, we can definitely do that, actually. did not hit a land. Hilarious. <laughs> yep, that's that's something right there. Attack Garrick Wildspeed. Uh, draw a card. Hit that land. Wow. Four cards. Oh my god, they forgot it has trample? Okay. Gary on top. Not dead yet. I hate that. <laughs> negative the negative two on Vivian is so, it's so terrifying. Especially when they're like cast an eight mana creature. Yep. Primeval Titan and Hornet Queen mean that their deck is probably better than ours. Steel Leaf Champion? Sure. 
don't really care about that. Wow. I was like, uh, okay. Two life. Get this. Uh, I'll go to that. Gotta make a blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we Ulamog, hmm, we can get rid of Primeval Titan and the Hornet Queen, but that doesn't, we're still dead to these three bees. Bees, bees. One, two, three, one, two, three, four to get back Metamorph. Leaves us with three mana. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. I mean, the food keeps us alive in the air, right? So that's three mana less. So we can actually Genesis Hydra for six. So we got to one, two, crack the food, right? So we only have six mana. Or Eternal Witness Get back Metamorph. Copy Hornet Queen. I mean, we might still be dead here, but we go to six, which is not the worst. We just have to survive. That's all. How do we block Steel Leaf? We die. Why do you have to bring stuff like this up? Why gotta be so negative? They're like, they're like all your creatures have power to or less. I wonder if they forgot about the food. Can't block it, right? Everything has, yep, sure, go to one. I mean, we're still alive, dude. This is wild. Plus, Goose can make food. So, get this stupid freaking buddy out of the way. Master's annoying. Six, seven, eight. I mean, always, always yes here. Green. Go to two. Flip that Nis. 
we put Woodfall Primus into play. Six, seven, eight, nine. God, we're one mana shy of a little mog here. No, we only have nine. Uh, we'd have to have ten. And if we could, well, if we could Hydra for Woodfall, then we could just cast a little mog. We have six eight nine mana, four of which would be Gilded Goose. We can just cast Woodfall Primus, but it really takes away from. I kind of just like Hydra for five. Or four, rather, because then we can. Make a food. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Makes a three, three. Pretty sure Thrag Tusk is in our sideboard. I don't think we have a way in the in the in the deck to actually just search for it. Oh boy. So this is not an option. We can make a four a four five blocks this quite well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is gonna be the problem. These two combined are the problem. Seven. Okay. Acidic Slime's pretty good here. If we kill this, they just draw two cards, right? Whatever. <laughs> what are you going to do? They're going to do that anyway. Like... All right, eat these time. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have thirteen. We have two more creatures than they do. Oh God, this is a game, dude. <laughs> Okay, another another three three. Seems fine. Oh god, the intensity, guys. This is friggin' intense. But if they don't do anything super broken here. Oh, they're gonna play Crater Huff. Okay. Well, never mind. Of course they have it and oh, Woodfall Primus? That's better. Killing Nessa, sure. Like, we get to play Ulamog next turn and eat, like, several things. This is a match, boys. This is a hell of a match. This guy exiles. That's pretty good. I almost don't even mind hitting the land here.
Oh, we got Woodfall Promise on top of our library, too. Seven, eight, nine. Unfortunately, we have to use this guy. Can we Garrick? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, because Garrick would net us one less mana. Wait. Well, if we if we gilded goose, we can Garrick. But let's get rid of Primus and probably Vivian. I mean, those are their engines for sure. Also, one swing with Ulamog next turn actually kills them. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have 14. One can't attack. Oh, God. Is this game? Oh, my God, dude. Plus, we're at three, so we can take, like, two hits from one ones. So we actually only need... We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blockers. If they alpha, we have one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have 13. So we got them covered for two. Oh, I'm having a, I'm having a, I'm having a moment here. This is wild. Oh man. Metamorph copying Hornet Queen was was the moment. Oh my god. Pretty pretty Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Is it wrong that I want to like board in Mystic Snake and Consecrated Sphinx against them? Let's take out West Vale, Treetop, this and this. Bring in Breeding, Hinterland. Two of these. Bring in Mystic and Consecrated. Take out Nyxbloom Ancient. Actually, Nyxbloom is probably pretty good. Like, I feel like just having a hard counter against the green deck when they can't interact with us is pretty good. Could probably take out Acidic Slime. We didn't see many targets for that guy. Plus, we still have Woodfall Primus. Four blue sources, but we also have Goose, Rampant Growth, Lotus Cobra. I think it's one more. I think Plow Under is also pretty bad against the, mon the green deck. Haven actually is pretty good. You're right. That's actually a good point. Uh, I'll keep this hand. We can also rampant growth into our into our second island as well. Arbor Elf one time. One time Arbor Elf. Tree speaker, that's so much better. Oh, that's real good. Wow. Cultivate seems fine. And I guess two forests? Sounds good. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven mana next turn. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, play Nissa, still have six mana up. 
Oh yeah, we're both missing, I guess. Hmm. So I just get the attacker right into Nissa. That's pretty cool. So one, two, three, four, five. So if we actually take what counter off of this, then we have six mana so we can play both of these. Uh, that's pretty good. Nissa. I mean, the only problem is if they go uh, Woodfall Primus first. And that's awkward. We're definitely casting this. And we're one, two. We have plenty of green. Yeah, Whisperwood's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Magic is the good doctor intended happening right here. You ain't kidding. Yep, and pass the turn. No Woodfall Primus, that's all I ask. No way to kill Nissa, no Woodfall Primus, no Woodfall Primus. They have 12 total mana, It's a lot. Okay, they leveled up, made a guy without tapping. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, everybody in Nyssa. Not everybody in Nyssa. Nyssa going to three is not dead. And Tooth and Nail is a hell of a magic guard. Look at these forests flickering. That guy's that guy's humongous. Oh dear, they have no cards in hand. Holy Jesus! <gasps> oh, I just want to draw that. Jeez. Ah, we shouldn't have played land first. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Gonna entwine. Do, 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 do. Destroy target non creature permanent. I mean, it's definitely Ulamog and like Metamorph. Maybe. Maybe not Metamorph. <laughs> it's, it's for sure Ulamog, right? Do we put Ulamog in hand? This adds two mana, so it would add six. What if we put Ulamog? Oh my God! Watch this. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the tits, guys. I hope you're ready. It's not Primus here. It's gonna be Ulamog, Metamorph, 
put Whisperwood and Metamorph onto the battlefield. Metamorph, copy Nyx Bloom Ancient. Add four, add 10. Ulamog killing these two. Oh, that's the play, my dudes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, that's the ticket. If I, I tap this for three mana, and it only added four. So that's weird. And they're in top deck mode now. And they just have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They still have a lot of, they still have a ton of mana. Good games. God, Ulamog's a fucking beater. That was some galaxy brain cubing right there. Yeah, I'm like, how can I get these triggers off of Ulamog? That was the goal there. And then you know what happened? We got him. I'm like, I don't want to put the Ulmog into play. I'll just put this stupid Whisperwood and this Phyrexian Metamorph into play. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of your own Nyx Born Ancient. Nyx Born Ancient? Nyx Bloom Ancient? What is that fucking card called? This feels keepable, actually. If we can hit a land, it'd be much more keepable, but... I mean, turn two Devoted Druid after Arbor Elf is still, like, a bunch of three drops. Ah, nice. I guess we Beanstalk Giant on turn two. Jason Born Agent? <laughs> oh, wow, that's rude. What's that about? I mean, joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> Can't stop the ramp train forever. I bet you'll try, though, you Grixis son of a biscuit. They will indeed try. So, I kind of like Nissa here because it lets us pressure them and it also gives us a forest to discard. So. Yep. Didn't play anything. I don't have anything in your three cards one time. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's baller, dude. One, two, three, four, five. This is six. I mean, we're at a point where if we get another bomb creature, we can just cast Tooth and Nail for seven. Mitch Bloom Angel. <laughs> you guys talking about Michael B? Exile a card from your hand or a permanent you control. For five. This is actually tricky. Next turn we're just going to play a land. I think getting closer to the sevens is better. Yeah, I think it's got to be Ulamog. I just don't see us getting there, unfortunately. Plus, if we can flip our Nissa at some point. Wow, that's a sad day. Oh, actually, let's not... That 
that was that was big brain play. I mean, we have Woodfall Primus, and we exiled Ulamog, so it's not too bad in terms of, like, and here's another 7 drop, so, like, it's, I guess if we're going to get briberied. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Man, can you imagine if we draw Frixie Metamorph here? That would be the sickest. It was, a, it was a treetop village. That does let us flip Nissa, though. There's a land. Six, seven. Tooth and nail. Hmm. Or one. Why does it have to be friggin' tapped? I still don't think we're that far behind, though. Six, seven, eight? I mean, if we hit a land, we can Tooth and Nail. If we don't hit a land, we can Woodfall Primus. If they want to use this on this, then we can easily just, like... Then we still have eight. Thought Scour. Wow, I didn't want to draw either of those. Thought Scouring your opponent randomly is very weird. Okie dokie. I mean, we're just getting rid of a forest here. It's still seven mana. God, are we giving them like a million mana? That's pretty wild. Did they tap three, like forgetting about the Nyx Bloom Ancient? Oh, they're just doing all the things. Sure. interesting five six seven if we hit an eight we can just straight up kill nickel bolus which is nice land huh oh love it I mean, it's a blunt epiphany, right? Sure. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I'll make a copy of my creature. Oh, pick all my modes. Cool. Den instead of rampant growth seems fine. Thrun seems great. And 41, because we're absolutely crazy. Q. 
keep. Okay, not dismember. What do we have next turn? Three, five, six mana. It's pretty good. All right, well. I'm assuming that a... Uh, fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yikes. And game three. No game three. One, two, three, four, five. Big gargs. Okay. And are we not done here, huh? Clever impersonator. You got it. Nicely done. Four, five, six. Hmm. Let's draw a card here. I think a random card is probably better than a, than a Beastie Boy. For sure. You got it. Kill the land? Sure, sounds good. It's the Beastie Boys. Okay. Wow, mono blue dot deck over here. So they actually have to block Woodfall Primus. One, two, three, four, five. And then they take one from the block. So, I guess they could phase out Woodfall Primus, which is fine. Yeah, we'll just kill Teferi. Or, you know, threaten to kill Teferi. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana.
Look at all those colors. Oh, Taunus, what up, my dude? Sure. I mean, the thing is, like, your lands don't matter anymore because you have Chromatic Lantern, so... Just a removal spell. Tassiger. So if we attack with everyone, both of these have trample. So they block 10. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They're just dead. Why are the lands having a seizure? Pfft, wouldn't you like to know? I would, that's why I asked. Well, I bet you would. Just absolutely destroyed him. Keep Arby's eat fresh. Come on, give me that land. Oh yeah, give me that land. land, land, land. He's got two mana. Not great, Bob. Not great, Bob. Pyroclasm. Thought scour yourself. Oh man, those are two good hits. And the feeling of just taking those out of your deck is just wonderful, actually. So we actually have four mana here. One, two, three, four, five. We can Noosa next turn. To think we've round one opponent a Teferi, played a turn three Teferi. Look how far you've come. Oh, fantastic. Sure, you got it. Come on, land off the top. That sucks. <laughs> Land off the top would have let us cast Nissa, untap, kill Jace, and I can't think of a better way to get back in this game. Now we get to untap. We can play Gary, untap two, play Arbor Elf. Fucking Jace, dude.
discard a card. Do, 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 do. I think it's Hydra. Hail Hydra. I keep thinking this at the top of my deck and it's freaking me out. Oh, I took two. Hmm. Tassiger again, huh? Oh, this is actually next level AF. Uh, over. Kill that. Kill Jace. One, two, three, untap two, four, five, Nissa, untap one. We'd be one shy to do it if we, if we, the, the, the not having this land is really affecting us adversely. Man, killing Treasure Map and Jason the same turn is pretty decent. to five mana, huh? Huh. Okay. Discard a card, huh? It's probably coarser here. Actually, it's. Pr I only have three lands. Like, this is pretty far off. Whereas Metamorph and the other guy are pretty bananas. Okay, well, they can't get Woodfall Primus. So that's pretty good. I don't know what they can get, actually. That's a good one. We have Metamorph, though. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have ten mana right now. We can literally metamorph Ulmog. What can they get back? But they can J they can get back Jace with this stupid thing. Fuck. That's f oh god. That's so frustrating, dude. Of course we can't win. Of course we can't trophy a one draft. It's really frustrating. We have to woodfall this, otherwise we just get Jason. They they kill our metamorph. Then we have to play it again next turn. That's frustrating as hell. Yep. And if we had one more mana, we can go Woodfall Primus, kill this, play another Woodfall Primus. Wait, how much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12. 
which is enough. Hmm. Hmm. We can also ultimate Garrick next turn, which is actually, this is pretty good. Except they're just going to have like Sublime Epiphany here or Cryptic Command. God, so close, dude. So close. And the fact they have 21 cards is just hilarious because like we, we we take them away from 20 and then they have one card left and they draw that card and then they get to kill us with their Ulamog first which is actually our Ulamog the alternative is like getting a second Woodfall Primus and killing a land but I don't think that's nearly as good as the potential of having Ulamog This is an interesting way to order this. Because if they have Sublime Epiphany, it takes them off that. If they have a blocker, it takes them off that. I don't think that does it. They blink this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, that's just the game. Oh my god, how did we win this, dude? Guys, did we break the curse? We got it. Okay, I'll lose a man in my pool. This is 20 damage. They have 5 blocks. Yep, you got it. Still trampling. Oh my god, negative 1. Show me the negative 1. Oh my god! Finally! Oh my god, the curse is broken. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for getting through this with me. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. Cool stuff inc. every Wednesday. And nord.vp nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. All those links are going to be in the description below, so check them out. They're great ways to support the channel. And they're great uh, offers and things. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Shut you for, for being here to break the curse. You did it, you trophied one trophy buck. Super Fritz, I appreciate you, buddy. I'll see you guys next time.